Swole Benji here. Today I'm going to talk to you about refining in New World. What is refining? Well, when you go out into the world and you harvest a resource, you need to refine it into a usable material for crafting. So when you open the map here, and I don't know why there's so much lag, but you'll see a loom that refines fibers and cloth. You'll see over here there's a smelter that refines metal. You have the tannery that refines rawhide, and so on and so forth. So here's how it works for those that have never played a game like Albion. You go to the crafting bench and you press use on it, and it's going to pull up this menu. And it looks a little confusing, but it's really simple, okay? So on the left here, we have linen, right? It requires four fibers to make one linen. And linen is a crafting ingredient used to make, like, cloth armor and other cloth things. So you, you kind of need linen, right? But at the same time, fiber itself in its raw form can be used to craft things like weaved baskets. It can be used for quests to turn in. So ideally, you don't want to use up all of your fiber on linen unless you have a specific goal in mind. So in this case, you can see that I have level 105 weaving, which gives me a 10% chance to craft additional items. So I'll show you what that means in a sec, but uh, the level caps out at 200 which I'm assuming is a 20% refund on, on gear. So that means for every four fibers I get at max level, I would get one back. Or in this case, for every four linens I craft, I would get one for free, is what that essentially means in the long run when you do the math. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna click over here. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna refine all of my fiber. I'm just gonna re refine a bunch of it. So I'm choosing to craft 625 linens. Now here, the town's taxes are having me pay three coin, 3.12 coins. This is a very cheap amount, okay guys? Like, I can kill one mob and get this amount. And if you look here, you can sort by experience. So by refining linen, I get 36 experience points towards uh, my weaving level, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and craft 625 of these, and this is what happens. It's going to pop up this menu. It crafts them all at once. It's not like Albion, where you have to wait for a loading bar on each item. And uh, we ended up with 46 bonus items, so we got 46 extra linen for crafting. We also got 22,500 experience into weaving, and we're now level 106, which we were level 101. So now we're, we have 11% chance to craft uh, additional items. So what that did was, because I'm a high enough level, I have the next tier. So linen is a tier 2 material, fiber is a tier 1 material, sateen is a tier 3 material. It's basically a higher level of cloth. Now this is where it gets a little different compared to Albion, okay? To refine tier 3 and up gear, you will need a refining material, alright? And so... In this case, we can use cross weave or we can use silk weave. And you can see that there's even a third option called wire weave. We don't want to use these expensive materials on this cheap stuff. So I have 22 cloth weave, and the only way to get these, you'll see on the tooltip, it is derived from supply containers. This means that instead of going out and harvesting fiber all day, you have to go out into towns and dungeons and mine shafts and little expeditions and loot chests and hope that you get some cross weave which if you play all day you can get several hundred of these but you will have to eventually use the market if you plan to refine thousands and thousands at a time so one cross weave and four linen will equal one sateen right uh so let me just check something here okay um <laughs> all right and um let me just craft uh i'm gonna craft 10 10 of these. Now, you'll see that this one costs 20, 20 cents. It's going to give me more experience, 190 per craft. All right. There we go. And we did not get a bonus because we didn't craft that much. So that's fine. Now we go to silk. Silk is a tier four material. Silk requires silk threads, which is a tier four base resource. All right. And it takes two sateen and it takes crossweave. Unfortunately, this town's loom is tier 3. You can see this at the top. It's kind of covered by data because it's the beta. But this tier 3 loom 
cannot craft silk because silk requires a tier 4 loom down here. And how do you find a tier 4 loom or how do you make one? Well, you can't really make one unless the, the owners of this town decide to upgrade it, okay? So in towns, the guild that controls the town can go in and upgrade stuff at will. But let's look at some other towns. I'm just going to scroll over here. Um, actually, I'm going to look at Monarch's Bluff. And I, I just left clicked on Monarch's Bluff. You can see here uh, our bonuses. And there is a way to, to check. Hold on. Used to, you could you could zoom in and just hover over the bench, but um, where's the loom at here? Uh, there is the loom. Uh, let's territory standings. We're going to go to Monarch's Bluff. There is a way to see what benches are what level. I just don't remember how to do it. There's a way to do it on the map. I know there is. I've done it before. Filter. It's not. It's not under filters. Hmm. Oh, we hover here. Yeah, yeah. Settlement. Okay. So here's how you do it. You, you go on the map and you hover over the button that says settlement, and then you click settlement details. So here we can see um, that their loom is tier three, and we need a tier four loom, right? So we can't go there. Let's close that, and let's check this area. Uh, what is this? Uh, Cutlass Keys. Their loom is tier 3. Can't go there. Does anyone have one? Has anyone teched up high enough yet? Tier 2 loom. Ew. Ew, gross. No. Alright, what about Reekwater Hamlet? Tier 2. Brightwood? Well, no, no. Let's check, check Windsward. And we're just looking for a tier 4 loom. No one has a tier 4 loom, okay? Maybe someone out there does. But but you get you guys get the point. You can check each town to see what tier board they have. All right. So did we, did we? Yeah, we did refine that. Okay. And this is the same for other materials. Like over here is the tanning area. So you go to the tannery and you can make some uh, coarse leather. Of course, we can make that. So we made eight there. We got a bonus. All right. And then we can make rugged leather. But it's instead of crossweave, we have tannin. It's a different material. It's the same thing. It, it's derived from supply containers. Same deal, it takes four coarse leather and one tannin to make a rugged leather. So we're gonna make, just gonna make four. And then, same deal, layered leather, we add tannin. However, it's not tier four. Uh, you know, so we're a little ahead of the, <laughs> we're ahead of the pack, essentially. We are ahead of the technology <laughs> because we power level and play all day, whereas other players and even settlements are busy upgrading other things like base defense so they don't have some other guild come in and take over their stuff, all right? Now, uh, refining is pretty much the same with all the materials. You got stone, you got wood and metal, and that's basically refining. And then, like, for example, uh, if you wanna, you know, craft something, you would take your refined materials, and that, that's just how it would work. So, like, here, I can scroll all the way down to star metal, and uh, star metal would be the tier 4 equivalent, which I, I believe this place has a tier 4 forge. Yeah, their forge is actually tier 4, so I could forge star metal if I uh, got some charcoal, which charcoal's easy to make, you just use wood. Um, so yeah, that's refining, guys. You, you refine materials so you can craft things, or you can sell the refined materials. And the higher and the more often that you refine, the more freebies you get. I'm Soul Bidji, thanks for watching. As always, be a bro and stay soul. Make sure you leave a like and a comment. You gotta do both. If you do both, it's an algorithm cheat code, a YouTube combo. 72% of you aren't subscribed. Click that subscribe button right now. It really, really helps out, okay? Uh, I know my videos show up in your feed, but they won't always, so hitting that button really helps out. You can always unsubscribe later. All right, that's it, lads. Take care. Here's my stash in the beta. Pretty big. I'll see you in the next one.